Hey everyone, uh, just a real quick tip today. Um, I wanted to talk about using negative space in your portraits, how you go about selecting the elements that you want to include and the elements that you want to uh, ignore when you're doing your comp initial composition for your portrait. Um, so when I look at a portrait that has an interesting pose, what I like to do is think about which of the features which of the elements I find the most interesting and what I find would make the most interesting com uh, composition. I think it's very often not just to slavishly follow um, the elements of the photo reference. I think it's more fun if you choose your own, um, your own ideas about what's interesting. So for me, for this portrait, what jumped out at me was the way that her hand is supporting or appears to be supporting her head. So what I've decided to do is isolate the hand and the head and the parts of the head scarf that overlap with the hand, but not this extra part. And so that's what I have actually sketched in here at this very early stage in my drawing. Um, this is all that I'm going to include. I'm just going to include this hand supporting this head. And I'm just going to play around with that and see how that ends up working. Um, I, I really like to play with negative space when I compose my portraits. I like to um, I like to pick the parts that I find interesting, and I like to ignore the rest of it. I think it can make for a more interesting piece. Um, for example, if there were cuffs that you liked, but you weren't interested in the shirt, you could just do the cuffs and the collar, or you could ignore um, you could ignore the hair entirely or just focus on the, the shape of the hair, but leave as negative space the entire area of the hair, only focus on the face. There's a million different things that you could choose um, to focus on. So basically, I'm just encouraging you to look at your reference photo and have some fun with playing with picking interesting parts, leaving other parts behind, and just seeing the results you get. I think it can be a fun way to compose your portrait. Um, and break you out of the uh, the feeling as though you need to replicate everything that you see in front of you. And that's it. I will talk to you soon.